Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf and I am back at CRS 50 with Kaylee Shore. How are you doing? I'm so good. I'm so I, good. I'm caffeinated. <laughs> you are caffeinated. You know what? And I'm good this year. Yeah. I've had my caffeine, no yeah. headache. It's all good. <laughs> um, your shirt, number Should one. I struck yeah. me I, as soon as I saw you walking down the hall I was like there's a girl with a Shania shirt on and the girl oh my with God. the Shania shirt I um, love it so Shania played Bridgestone um, this past summer back in like I think it was July right and she is absolutely a saint and invited a bunch of women of country to come hang out with her before the show oh wow so it was like me and Jilly Jacqueline and Cassie Pope and Livy Jean and a bunch of girls Hannah Ellis um, there was probably like 15 of us and we all got to go meet her and like take a picture and she did like a champagne toast with all of us um, just about and gave us a little pep talk on being a woman in country oh, and wow. so I bought the dang shirt and I danced in the second row like I've never danced before and so my favorite shirt. That Thanks. is fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Thank you, Shania, for, for doing that and for, you know, lifting these girls up and helping them. That is fantastic. Yeah, yeah that's super cool. And I have to say, you have been through a lot this past year. It's but been your, quite the year. Yeah. Your music and getting the opportunity to premiere one single, mm -hmm. two different versions at the same time. Yeah. Radio Disney, Radio Disney Country with your mm -hmm. song Awake. How has that been for you? That's been really fun. Um, I So in addition to everything else this year, I went through a, um, a breakup after six years, which is influencing the record a lot. Um, and so because of that, I was like, I'm going to go to LA. I'm going to like take some me time and just try to challenge myself creatively and throw myself into something new. Right. And I was writing pop songs for a lot of, a lot of other artists, and I'll have some cuts coming out this year. Nice. Um, and I love writing pop music. And you know, I, my path is country, but it's fun to get right. to challenge myself a little right. bit. And from the beginning of Awake, that I'd had a vision in my head of doing that song like uh, like reimagined. And I was like, am I gonna do an orchestra version or a piano version or what right. am I gonna do? And as I like kind of talked to my manager, Todd, and Phil at Radio Disney, we kind of were like, what if we did this? And then because I'd been out in LA, I met this really great producer, Matt Free. Yeah. And um, it all just came together so naturally, and then we decided to do it as a duet. So the guy gets the opportunity to explain himself a little bit, and it yeah. was just so new, and, and no one had ever done that before. And I'm always down to try something, right. and it was scary, but I think it's turned out pretty well. So absolutely, and the person who did the duet with you, Johnny Brand, yes, is so, I got to interview him oh, while he was still competing on American Idol. Oh, he's so sweet, and he is so sweet, and he's got such an amazing voice, and. I was so excited to see that you teamed up with him because yeah. honestly, I think you guys complement each other really well. Yeah, we had a well. lot of fun and um, the video for the pop version is coming out and it is so crazy. I felt like I was on an Ariana Grande music <laughs> video set. It's it's nuts and him oh, and wow. I had so much fun that day um, right. and I can't wait for people to see it. It's like the part two to the country video. So. See, that's yeah. fantastic. Now what else do you have coming up? I know you're busy. I see, yeah. I see her name, you guys at home. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen what I've seen, you're missing out, but her name has been freaking everywhere. Oh my gosh, and thank you. I, I get so excited every time I see thank it. Thank you. And your social media and everything is always just so busy and thank fun. You. And I just, I earned a badge too. I earned oh my a, God, did you I know earned, that's adorable? I, I, I earned one of the badges for being a top fan on, on your social media. And that's I had adorable. to laugh, but I was like, I am accepting that badge. I am doing <laughs> it. And it was the very first badge I've ever earned. So thank you. That is, that's just really made my whole day. Um, yeah, I actually really love social media. I love people and connecting with people. And um, it's it's really empowering as an artist because it wasn't always an option. And I get to just control my own narrative and right. say what I want to say and, you know, explain what I want to explain, you know, from, from the bad stuff to the good right. stuff. Um, so what's coming up this year is I just scheduled this morning the studio time to do my first full length album. Oh. So we start that first week of April. So We're going to take two weeks. Um, and I'm really just owning the fact that it's been a tough year. And for a while I was kind of holding on to um, some songs that I felt like were radio and whatever. And I love the songs and I'm proud of them and I might come back to them. but. I realized that like emotionally at this point I kind of outgrew them a little bit okay um, and I needed to just own the period of life I'm in because yes. it's a chaotic one and I need to be honest with myself and my fans right. and make a body of work that's a kind of a time capsule of where I'm at right now right. so I'm really excited to um, throw myself into that it's really healing for me right. and the writing is so much more personal than anything I've ever done to the point where it's scary like I feel like I'm naked on stage yeah. and um, 
and I, that's not my career path at all. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I feel like that's the second time I've made an inappropriate okay. joke in an interview no, with you. Right. You know what? Some people choose to be naked on stage in a different way. Yes, and that's that's their choice. But yes, no, I, exactly. I love um, you. I but absolutely it's adore really you. it's very vulnerable, <laughs> yeah. and um, it's kind of scary. And um, I'm doing a benefit show with Cassidy Pope right. on Friday for my sister's kids, and I'm playing a song right. I wrote called Escape, and it's like the most true thing I've ever written and like I cried while I was writing it I wrote it with my best friend Candy Carpenter and we just drank wine out of the bottle on my floor and just unpacked everything oh wow but because I felt so healed after I wrote it I hope that people can hear it and relate to it and um you know just put something real out into the world because I you know sometimes when you're when you're a writer in Nashville you sit around and you you write these songs and you're like okay I have this idea about this thing that I kind of went through I guess and then you're writing the song and you're like okay well what would she do in the second verse and I'm like no what would I do and right. truthfully my real life is so much more dramatic than anything I could make up right now I'm <laughs> like let's just write about it yeah. so yeah well and I got to give you credit for that and I wasn't I, I don't like to give specifics on camera because yeah. you know what that's not my gig that's your life mm-hmm. your gig you know but you've always been very open and honest with yeah. your fans and I respect that thank you so much and I think that as a person who also goes through difficult things, yeah. you don't realize at the time, but other people have gone through it or are going well, totally. to go through it. Yeah. So if you can own it and, and put it out there, it's very healing for everybody yeah. else too. Well, and, and I'm, I'm fine to go into it, but when my right. sister overdosed, my family and I like, a media outlet reached out to my manager and said, hey, are you, are you comfortable giving us a couple of specifics? We want to share the story, but we don't want to get right. anything wrong. Um, and the right. obituary wasn't out or anything. Um, right. And my dad and I talked and he was like, you know what, when people overdose, they get to be a number and they don't, you don't get the opportunity to show them and be like, this is a real person with passions and a right. job and children and like, yeah. you know, a, someone, you know, it's not just like a junkie in a trailer, right. you know? And so we got to kind of show the world like that it can happen to anybody. Yeah. And that was really... Um, powerful for us and it's been hard to be have it all be so public and you know walk into a room and hear people whisper about it or have strangers come up and talk to me about it but at the same time like I'm so thankful that like People magazine you know ran my sister's face and was like share the story you know from a really respectful standpoint um and there were a couple like kind of tabloidy things that I just had to brush off but anyways it's been really really empowering and I think that it's what she would have wanted because you know it's something she struggled with and um, if we can help someone else by sharing that then then I'm I'm happy to keep talking about it well and that's honestly the most amazing thing about you you. and your heart and everything and Knowing that it's a difficult situation, but knowing that in that difficulty you can help somebody out, yeah. help your nieces, help your family, and help make make people be aware that totally. it's not about numbers, it's yeah. not about horrible lifestyles, it's about a real, well, real and I issue. I think that like when you cover stuff up, it's almost always worse, you yes. know, and, and trying to gloss it over or whatever. Right. And I um I wrote her obituary and we talked about it. and We're like, let's tell people what happened, you know, because yeah. you can. It's just that you know the small town whispers and stuff right. like that. We're like, let's just talk about it. It's not a secret, and if we can share our perspective and, and have it not be in vain, then that's right. really important. So, well, and and I love that, and I'm so glad that you guys made yeah. that decision. Thank and, you. And just so thank you on behalf of on Thanks. your fans and everybody who's going through thank hard you. times. I mean, if you can do it and put it out there and still continue to thrive and yeah. have a good outlook on life. Man, you're giving everybody else, you Thank know, you. that same inspiration. Thank you. And I'm just going to say, if I was a songwriter, I would totally have the title written down, Small Town Whispers, because when you said that, I that was like... That is pretty good, isn't it? Huh. I was like, um, I don't write songs, but... You're, you I know, mean, you might be right about that. We'll I, see. We'll see. If you do, just let me know. You'll get another I'll badge. Be, You'll get a real badge. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am so honored with my little digital badge. It's like not even funny. <laughs> so I was telling cute. Tommy behind behind the scenes, I was telling him when I got it, I was like, you don't understand. Like, this is a big deal. And I didn't even know these existed. And it's so great. And I was so tickled pink Y'all that I got so one. Sweet. So thank you. And <laughs> as always, thank you for taking the oh, time the to best. talk to thank me. Thank you. And where can fans find you? Um, Kaylee Shore at K-A-L-I-E-S-H-O-R-R. Anywhere that media can be socialed. All right, you guys, well, you heard her. So check her out at Kaylee Shore. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into our coverage of CRS 50. 
Special thanks to the Cosmo Cowgirl for the fun wardrobe she provided. For more clothes, you can find them at facebook.com slash the Cosmo Cowgirl. You are going to love them. Be sure to check out facebook.com slash Center Stage Mag every Monday at 4 p.m. Central for Center Stage Live at the 615 Hideaway, where we bring you live music and fun interviews. For more artist coverage, please check us out at centerstagemag.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media at the following links.